term as student council president. Why was I not reelected? Nobody knows. You made the school day longer. You banned dessert. You got rid of the faculty pinball machine. Nobody knows. <laughs> Please welcome our new student council president, Kim Beulah Crawford. That's right, people. You voted in a Beulah. <laughs> There is nothing I will not do for you. Place your hand on the turtle. Well, I'm not touching that warp bag. It's tradition, Kim. To be sworn in, you have to put your hand on Arlo. <laughs> Heart is clean. My mind is fertile. I'm the prez. Swear on the turtle. Oh. <laughs> and now I'd like to bring up a good friend. He's loyal, he's true, and he's dependable. He's my vice president, Jack Brown. So, uh, I was told this vice president, all I have to do is stand up here and look good, so here you go. <laughs> Thank you. And now, Erica Strathman has put together a special victory performance. Thank you. <laughs> I think y'all know who I am. I all don't. Then I'll tell you. Cheerleader and gymnast, and I'm head of our dance committee. This is for you, Kim. Isn't she sweet? Get in line, Gina. <laughs> Everything. Look at what you've done. Are you okay, hon? Yeah, I think so. I just come here. Daddy's gonna take care of you. Remember why you ran. This is your chance to make a difference. You're right. My presidential decree from this day forward, any student wearing the mascot suit will be required to wear underpants at all school functions. <laughs> okay, if it's all right with you, I'd like to say something. <laughs> As head of the dance committee, I suggest that we throw a fall ball. <laughs> Picture this. The entrance to the gym is a sea of icebergs. The door's open and you've just boarded the Titanic. I see good times off the starboard bow. It's not worth it, Erica. Frank ruins every event your dance committee puts on. He's right. Remember the hive of hornets he put in the air vent at the spring formal? Oh, that was a riot. <laughs> Kid's face is so messed up you couldn't tell the hornet fights from the zits. Kim, we voted for you because we thought that you would stand up people like Frank. Am I right, y'all? Yeah. You know what? You're right. By presidential decree, we shall get our boogie on. <laughs> Motion to ban the president from ever dancing again. Migration is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> and we got front row seats to the poop storm. <laughs> oh, Rudy, you forgot the tahini sauce. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, Rudy, don't. Every year they get you. No, I'll make it. I just gotta be quick. <laughs> oh, no. They're here. I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> yeah! First time in four years you didn't get me, you dumb ducks! <laughs> what? So, Kim, the whole school's talking about this little dance you approved. Would you go with me? 
No. Then, oh no, like the real Titanic? This one's going down. <laughs> Somebody stole Arlo last night, and Thunderbird is freaking out. He's the chief administrator of a high school. I doubt he's freaking out over a missing turtle. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> We've been turtle napped, people! He was in his cage when I left at four. And I saw the cage was empty at six. Why were you in my office? Uh, well, I certainly wasn't using your private bathroom. <laughs> I just got an anonymous text saying Arlo was in locker 137. That's Frank's locker. Wait a minute. I didn't even know I had a locker. <laughs> Nobody believes you, Frank. I'll open it myself. I got a master key. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Here's my little guy. <laughs> I missed you. You are going to detention for a long time! What happened? Frank stole Arlo and now he's got detention. Sending Frank to detention is a joke. Kim, ask President, isn't there something you can do? There is. Section 7 of the school constitution states that a unanimous vote from the school council can expel a disruptive student. <laughs> Please, Milton. I got this. Section 7 of the school constitution states exactly what Milton said. <laughs> I love to go swimming with bow-legged women. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. I think that's the one that got me. Who's oh, been following me around all day? It's because you're acting like his mother. I am not. Don't you listen to the bad man. <laughs> you're my little baby boy and I love you so much. Jerry, it's a wild animal. You gotta return him to his flock. You're right. We're from two different worlds. Well, sure, we both have web feet and eat worms, but that's just not enough. <laughs> yep, that's him, all right. You were the tail gunner, weren't you? <laughs> oh, you heard it. He admitted it. <laughs> What's the matter, Frank? You crying because you found one of Phil's nose hairs in your hummus? Yes! <laughs> and because I'm being framed at school. Uh, dude, they found Arlo in your locker. A turtle in a locker? That's not me. Now, packing Danny Doyle's trombone full of mashed potatoes. That's classic Frank. <laughs> more trombone, Doyle. More trombone! <laughs> Come on, Doyle, more, more trombone! <laughs> Remember that? Funderburg sneezed potatoes for a month. You gotta help me, Jack. If I get expelled, I'll be homeschooled. Giving mother a wedgie is awkward for both of us. Come to think of it, this would be the first prank you committed that you didn't take credit for. Because I didn't do it. I was at the Black Dragon Dojo when it happened. Well, then you couldn't have done it. But I just have one more question. Why is Milton making kissy faces with that duck? <laughs> that dude needs a girlfriend fast. Okay, before we take a vote, does anybody have anything to say? I do. Frank is a liar. A liar. And his pants are indeed on fire. Noted. Now, let's take a vote. All council members in favor of expelling Frank say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. Nay. Yes, it's unanimous. All thanks to me, Frank Bickle is... I'm sorry, did you just nay me? I believe that Frank is innocent. Boo. Got hit with a shoe. This is unacceptable. Jack is entitled to express his opinion no matter how unpopular it is. You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're totally alone floating on a raft in the middle of a sea of hate? Usually. <laughs> Why do you ask? No reason. You don't have any lunch. How do you eat? By making kids so mad, they throw food at me. <laughs> Check. Hey, Marty, I like your sneakers. Does your sister know you're wearing them? <laughs> Meatball. Nice. <laughs> hey, Jack, I don't know if you heard, but we're having another vote on Frank's expulsion tomorrow. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not changing my mind. You don't have to. You're fired. What? You picked me as vice president because I'm a strong, independent thinker who will always do what's right. I picked you because you were nice eye candy for the campaign poster. 
feel so used. <laughs> Jack, you told me I can make a difference, and now you're standing in my way. Okay, I will be remembered as the president who got Frank kicked out of school. Wow. If she could do that, she would be very popular, Jack. <laughs> Frank? Kim, I really believe Frank is innocent. Thunderbird said he saw Arlo in his cage at four, and Bert said the cage was empty at six. So? So Frank couldn't have done it. He was at the Black Dragon's dojo at that time. Really, Jack? My brother's a black dragon, and they've been closed all week for fumigation. Wow, Jack. Your new friend Frank turns out to be a liar. What a shock. Let's go, Erica. Oh, hi, Milton. Did you take Louie back to his family? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm proud of you. See, Jerry? You did the right thing. <laughs> What's going on there? I think I'm having a reaction to some <laughs> bad jambalaya. Dude, I am never eating jambalaya. <laughs> it's Louie. You didn't take him back? I tried. I couldn't. This little featherly fella just quacked his way into my heart. Well, now we got to figure out what to do. Got it. Put pants on him and raise him as a human. <laughs> His flock already left the park. If he doesn't join him, he's never going to see him again. Dude, what are we supposed to do? Grow wings, fly up in the air, and reunite him with his family? <laughs> what? This is Mama Bird. I see Louie's flock up ahead. Won't be long now, Louie. Be advised, Fred the Barber is on the roof, sunbathing in his underpants. Sorry I lied about being in the dojo. I couldn't tell you the truth because I was embarrassed. You? Embarrassed? Last week you wore your underpants outside your jeans. I thought it made me look like a superhero. <laughs> if I tell you where I was, promise you won't laugh? Yes, of course. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Well, I didn't know you flounced around in tights. I don't flounce, Jack. I just hey. I just hey. All right, now don't blame me for lying. Hey, don't cross this tape. I don't want you getting your footprints all over my freshly waxed floors. Sorry, Bird. Do you wax every day? No, not every day. Maybe if I'm going to hit the beach, strut around in my mankini. Then I'm... I was asking about the floors. Yeah, every day. This is Mama Bird. I'm about 50 yards away from Louie's block. Roger that, good buddy. This is Swag Ranger. I'm sitting in the hen house with a polecat. Over. Did you stop using those stupid nicknames? Mama Bird, this is Flash Starblazer. <laughs> Hit me back with a uh, status update. Louie's rejoining his block. That's it, Louie. Follow the lead, Bird. Mission complete. He's back with his family. <laughs> Great work, Mama Bird. Uh, come on home. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. The whole flock is following me. They think I believe Bird. What? Where are you now? Uh, I'm right above the courtyard. day we have to say goodbye to a student is a sad day <laughs> except when it's free yeah. and I can prove it. Everyone, follow me. Uh, Kim, what's he doing? Uh, excuse me! Hey, I am the president and I did not approve. Okay, following Jack approved. All right, we know Arlo was taken between four and six, and every day at that same time, Bert waxes the floors. So whoever put Arlo in Frank's locker would have left footprints. But there weren't any, right, Bert? Well, not a one. Floors were so clean you could eat off them, which I've done. <laughs> I like the lemony taste. Yes, thank you, Bert. Whoever did this would have to reach the locker without touching the stairs or the floor. Do you mind if I borrow this? Say Arlo is this book. So, 
with Arlo in a backpack, our thief may have done something like this. Just so you could defend me, so you could prove your own guilt? What kind of sick game are you playing? <laughs> it wasn't me, Frank. It was Erica. What? It's Jackie, I'm just being crazy now. <laughs> Kim, can we just get on with the vote? All those in favor? <laughs> Wait a minute. Erica, Jack does have a point. You are the only one in school that can do what Jack just did. Kim, don't tell me you're buying this. I mean, this is crazy. You know, what's crazy is that there's a size 4 precision balanced gymnastics shoe print up here. Well, that's up there. <laughs> you see, sometimes what happens every once in a while, there's, okay, I did it. <laughs> For three years, Frank has run every one of my dances. Dirt balls from the ceiling, frogs in the punch bowl. Oh, man. I thought those were gummy frogs. <laughs> Erica, you're in big trouble. Take her to my office. I just wanted the entire school to remember one perfect not put on by me, Erica Strathman. Keep it moving, streetcar. I told you I didn't do it because I was doing ballet. That's right. I'm not going to hide who I am anymore. I'm a dancer. <laughs> so am I, Frank. So am I. Kim, I got to hand it to you. When I was up there, I never even noticed that shoe print. It's because there wasn't one. After you put it all together, I knew you were right. I just wanted to make her admit it. I was pretty slick, Kim. I should have known you wouldn't have stood up against the whole school unless you really believed Frank was innocent. That's the kind of guts I'd like to see in my vice president. So I'm back? Yeah. Really great on a poster. <laughs> Except that one. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for doing that now. Dude, those ducks aren't leaving without you. They think you're their mother. <laughs> See you later. I'm going to the movies. Well, you can't go out there with that sandwich. Oh, please. They're ducks. You just got to show them who's boss. <laughs> Watch closely. We're about to show you an entire kicking it episode in 10 seconds. But pay attention to who talks, because there will be a test. <laughs> You'll faint, you run. That's just good parenting. But I don't wear skirts. All right, it's time for the test. If you guessed Milton, Rudy, and Jerry, good job. Watch a brand new kick in it, and you'll hear your favorite characters say things at normal speed. Monday night at 8.37.30 Central on Disney XD. Change my diaper.